In the previous lecture, 1.4a, we looked at chemical formula. In this lecture, 1.4b, we're going to now look at the mole calculations associated with it. In your data booklet, you're given two equations for calculating the number of moles n. So you don't need to remember these two equations, they're in your data booklet. And they allow you to work out the number of moles you've got of a substance if they tell you the mass. Or if it's a solution and they give you the concentration and volume, you can again work out the number of moles n. So let's look at a few examples. Calculate the number of moles in 25 grams of calcium carbonate. That's CaCO3. Okay, so they've given me a mass, so I'm going to use this equation. So I'm going to use N equals mass over GFM. So it tells you we've got 25 grams of calcium carbonate. So we need to work out the gram formula mass of calcium carbonate. So calcium carbonate, calcium weighs 40, carbon weighs 12, and we've got three oxygens, each weighing 16, so that comes to 48. So we add that all together, that comes to 100. So the gram formula mass of calcium carbonate is 100. So we've got less than a mole, we've only got 25 grams. So 25 grams divided by 100 is 0 0.25, and the units is mol. Okay, let's look at a second example. Calculate the number of moles in 200 cubic centimetres of 0.2 moles per litre solution of nitric acid. So we're not told a mass, so we can't possibly use this equation. But we are told our volume and the concentration, so we can use this equation. Be very careful, sometimes people mistake this as a number of moles, but it's a concentration, it's moles per litre. So we're going to use the equation n equals cv. So the concentration was 0 0.2 moles per litre. Multiply by the volume. We're told the volume is 200 cubic centimetres, but by now, hopefully you all remember, you've got to get that into litres. So if it's in cubic centimetres, you divide by a thousand. So 200 by, divided by a thousand is 0 0.2. So 0.2 times 0.2 comes to 0 0.04 moles. Okay. Right, let's look at another example. Calculate the mass of 0 0.2 moles of carbon dioxide, CO2. So it's about mass. So again, we'll look at using this equation. But this time we have to rearrange the equation because it's asking us for the mass, not the number of moles. So you, you have to be able to rearrange this equation to solve it if you're given the number of moles and asked to determine the mass. So you need to take the GFM over to the other side. Because it's uh, dividing by GFM, when you move it across, you move it up the way. So the rearranged equation becomes mass equals number of moles times GFM. So make sure you know how to do that uh, rearrangement, or if you're not sure how to do it, just remember that equation. So it's now a simple matter of mass equals number of moles, 0 0.2, times the GFM, carbon's 12, two oxygens, 16 each, that comes to 16.32.44. So the mass would be 8.8 .8 grams. And similarly in some questions you have to rearrange this equation. Usually if you have to rearrange this equation it would be to determine the concentration. So we would need to move the volume over to the other side because it's multiplied by on this side it moves down, we move it over to the other side, so the concentration would be N divided by V. 
So let's look at an example where we have to do that. So calculate the concentration of a solution of copper chloride if 0.1 moles are dissolved in 500 cubic centimetres of water. So we rearrange this equation so it's C equals N over V. Okay. So the concentration number of moles is 0.1 and the volume 500 cubic centimetres divide by a thousand so it's 0 0.5 so 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.5 is 0 0.05 and then the units of concentration moles mol space l to minus one moles per litre okay so one more question type i want to show you involving both these equations and this is a slightly trickier one so calculate the concentration of a solution of lithium fluoride if 1.3 grams are dissolved in 250 cubic centimetres of water. Okay, so what we asked to do, calculate the concentration. Okay, so rearrange this equation and get C equals N over V. Okay. Doesn't tell us the value of N in the equation. It tells us V. 250 cubic centimetres, so it's going to be something divided by 0.25. But we're not told N, but we are told the mass. So we can use this equation to work out N. So N equals the mass 1.3 gram forming mass of lithium fluoride, that's 7 plus 19, so it's 26. So the number of moles is 0 0.05. So we take that number and stick it in here. So 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.25 comes to 0 0.2 moles per litre. So if in the question it talks about the concentration and the mass, then you're going to have to use both the equations. And finally, we want to look at calculations based on balanced equations. So I'll give you an example of what we're talking about. So a typical question would be, what mass of oxygen is required to combust four moles of methane? And you're given a balanced equation. Now, before I do this, I'm going to run through the method we can use for all questions of this type. The five step method you've heard me refer to before. So the first thing we do, no matter how many substances are in the equation, we are just going to narrow down the question to two. So we're going to circle the two substances of interest. They'll be the thing, the substance we're asked to calculate something about. So what mass of oxygen, so oxygen, and the substance we're told something about in numerically. So four moles of methane, so here, the oxygen and methane would be the two things of interest. Sometimes you might also mention some of the other substances, saying, but give you no information about them. So you can just ignore those ones. Right, the second step, you look at what the mole ratio is according to the balanced equation. Then the third step, you calculate the number of moles given in the question. So you're always, always, always given enough information to determine the number of moles of one of these two things you've circled. Now at National 5, there'll be three ways you could possibly be given this information. Okay. So you might just be given the number of moles in the question. You might be given N, as you are in this case. We're told we've got four moles of methane. But if they make it a slightly harder question, they might, instead of telling you the number of moles of methane, they'll tell you the mass of methane. So they might give you the mass, but if they give you the mass, you know you can work out the number of moles by mass divided by GFM. Or the third way, is if it's a solution, it might give you the concentration and volume. 
in which case you just use n equals cv to determine the number of moles so the questions will ma mainly vary on this third step they'll either give you the number of moles or they'll give you the mass or they'll give you the concentration volume in each case you can determine the number of moles so once you've determined the number of moles given in the question you substitute this number into the mole ratio up here and then finally calculate the mass of the unknown so I'll run through this method again and actually do this question this time so first thing was to circle the two substances of interest so what mass of oxygen so oxygen we're interested in and is required to combust four moles of methane so it's CH4 according to this balanced equation one mole of this reacts with two moles of this that's the second step the third step is determine the number of moles of one of those substances which is given in the question so in the question we're told we've got four moles of methane so step four I put that into this mole ratio so in this case it's methane I've got four moles of so that's what we've actually got so if we have four moles of methane we need to keep this ratio of one to two so we multiply by two so we have four moles of methane we must have eight moles of oxygen and then the fifth step work out the number or the mass okay of the oxygen so the mass of oxygen is the number of moles times the GFM of oxygen the number of moles is that 8 and the GFM of oxygen now it's the GFM of O2 okay you don't bother with this 2 in front of it you've already taken that into account here so oxygen always has the same GFM no matter what the balanced equation is so it's 2 oxygens so 2 16s is 32 so the mass of oxygen is going to be 8 times 32 which is 256 grams I think okay. and that's how you do those equations so three things you have to be able to do firstly be able to perform just the simple mole calculations using either of the equations given in the data booklet okay. secondly for more calculations which involve using both the equations so questions where you're asked a concentration and given a mass and thirdly carry out more calculations based on balanced equations now I'm aware that this last part is pupils tend to find quite tricky so if you want more practice on these there's going to be a third lecture for section 1.4 1.4 C which I'll give you several questions of this type calculations based on balanced equations which you can try but the video will also have me doing worked examples is doing the answers for each of the questions so you can check if you're doing them right or get some help if you're stuck so if you're very confident on the calculations based on balanced equations you can just skip to the 1.5 but if you want a wee bit more practice I'd recommend looking at the video 1.4c